Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be looking at MacOS Monterey 12.3. Let me know what y'all think about this audio equipment and all the setup. Um, doing like how I do with the streams, where I set up good audio stuff and we get things rolling, you know, with this nice, lovely studio. Um, really curious what you think, you know, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, because it is 3.48 in the morning um, as I'm filming this, so we all have the what's new videos ready for when this is all going out to the public. So if you're on the dev or public beta, it comes in at check checkbox. Mac OS Monterey 12.3, 12.3, 4.38 gigabytes selected. So we're at uh, 4.38 gigabytes for download on this. It may be smaller if you're coming from 12.2.1 uh, as a public release because sometimes it likes to reinstall. Um, it might be uh, 4.38 gigabytes for the public release. Please let me know down below in a comment. And the top person to comment, I'll probably pin the comment. But um, we're looking at, you know, anywhere between probably two to five gigabytes. It came in at around five gigabyte, you know, around 4.38 on this Mac. Probably a little bit smaller on older Macs and whatever. But iOS and iPadOS came in bigger because of the fact that they were uh, release candidates and coming from dev uh, updates. So here we are. So it is a restart required. Universal control is in beta. Control, so you can use a single mouse and keyboard across your Mac and iPad. This release also includes new emoji, dynamic head tracking for music, and other features and bug fixes for your Mac. Universal control beta. Bullet. Universal control allows you to use a single mouse and keyboard across iPad and Mac. Bullet. Text can be typed on either Mac or iPad and you can drag and drop files between them. Spatial audio. Bullet. Dynamic. Okay, that is cool. And this is what's tempting me with the iPad Air 5 by getting that. So I can use that iPad as another setup tool to drag files or other things across while using this iPad as my microphone setup. So spatialized head tracking and stereo uh, like we have on iOS is supported on, you know, the M1 Mac books or Macs. That's cool because I do have the AirPods Pro, which is really nice to have. Customizable spatial audio settings for all fixed and head tracker now in control center with Oh, thank God they finally added that. The head tracking where you can do fix, off, or um, turn it to on like you can on iOS. I was waiting for that. That that I do like. I really do like that. My computers with the M1 chip. Emoji. Bullet. New emoji including faces, hand gestures, and household objects are available in emoji keyboard. Bullet. Hand. So it requires M1 chip for the, uh, you know, the head tracking audio, the new emojis for new faces and stuff like that to meet up with universal uh the code unit uh 14 uh there are 37 new emojis in ios and ipad os handshake emoji allows you to choose separate skin tones for each hand this release also includes the following enhancements for your mac bullet so the following enhancements for the mac the emojis i do not have a list of them sorry about that but um the Following bug fixes for my Mac. This is a 2020 MacBook Air as the host recording. So here we go. Includes additional voice, expanding the diversity of options. Bullet, podcast. So new Siri voice and uh, to extend the new voices and stuff like that. It would be curious what it sounds like using the neural engine. And now we have podcasts. Bullet, podcast, sounds, episode filter, four seasons, play, unplay, save. So same as release notes as iOS and iPadOS from what I can see. Um new season podcasts and stuff like that or download episodes bullet safari page translation has support for italian chinese traditional bullet shortcut all right so chinese language translation um and safari for the safari bullet shortcuts now supports adding removing or clearing tags with reminders bullet sick. so query tags kind of like ios and ipad os so shortcuts on the mac supports that now too bullet save passwords can now include your own notes bullet battery so save passwords can include your own notes Bullet, battery capacity readings have improved accuracy. This release also. Battery readings have improved accuracy. All right, good. Because my Mac, um, over the last few weeks, literally shredded itself from 100% battery health in a month down to 95% suddenly. Yeah, my Mac is almost seven months old uh, since I got it in July. But we'll see how it goes with this improved accuracy stuff. Fixes for your Mac. Bullet. News widgets. And today you may not open articles when clicked. Bullet. Audio. So new widgets. Uh, news widgets may not open when you click the articles within the widgets. I do not use widgets on Mac West that much. 
Oh, his audio may sound distorted while watching the video in the Apple TV app. Oops. Audio may sound distorted if watching it within the TV app. Oops. Well, it, some photos and videos may be unintentionally moved when organizing albums and photos. Some features may... Yikes. Some features may not be available in all regions or all uh, devices. Be available for all regions or on all Apple devices. For information on the security content of Apple software updates, please visit this website. Link. HTTPS colon slash slash. And if I'm not lazy enough, I'll put a link to that in the description down below. But there we go. Close button. Install now button. So you can install it. Uh, I have been testing it behind the back of the scenes of the, you know, all the tech videos and all my live streams and stuff like that. And honestly, when it was on an external SSD, there was a few problems I had, but that probably is due to me having an external SSD. I see no problem. I'm going to test it out and I will have a follow up the following weekend on Mac OS instead of iOS because, you know, this previous weekend was iOS and I will let y'all know how Mac OS is performing a few days later and stuff like that. So you can go ahead to settings, you know, settings, wish it was general, but settings, software update which settings is the same as system preferences it's just different because if you say system pre open system preferences with siri it will do the same so i hope you all enjoyed this video this little what's new and going through the release notes and stuff like that and yeah like comment and subscribe for more mac os updates and ios updates and the whole nine yards of apple updates and other tech related products and coverage peace